The song came about, it was actually written on the bass. Um, the, the little lick there. You know, that little lick right there, that, that came first. And for, and for a long time, that was played with um, my kind of a Steve Elsie project band uh, as sort of the jam song that we kind of got ready for a gig with, to loosen up with. And, but in the back of my mind, I always knew that that song had something more to it. I just didn't know where to place it. Vowels, the building blocks of words, A-I-O-U and sometimes Y. You know, for years I've been playing in, in lots of different bands. I think actually the kid song in me was always there, but I didn't know what it was, so I was trying to fit in with the rock and roll. Sometimes Y. And then I had kids. And my friends have kids, and we all start to get together. I started to pick up the guitar and started to write, you know, on the fly, songs that would make these kids jump around just because, you know, the kids were starting to break things and we needed to get them to do something different. So I thought, hey, let me get a song going and uh, let's see if they'll stop breaking things and start dancing. So don't be shy, shout them out and let the words flow from your mouth. And lo and behold, it worked. I, and, and I started to do this and more and more. And people would come up to me and, and, at the party and say, you know, boy, you're, you're pretty good at, at, at making these kids songs up. And I'd say to them, kid songs? I'm gonna be a rock star. I don't wanna do any kid songs. Oh. As time progressed, the parties got bigger and the kids jumped higher and higher. You know, I realized that, uh, wait a minute, I might actually have a talent for this that I, I didn't quite know I had. Sometimes why? All of a sudden, there is a spirit, a new inspiration in me to really take this music to the next level, which I haven't had in quite some time. I wanted to perform more than play. Sometimes why? I don't wear blue. I'm not, I don't have a dinosaur sidekick. I don't want any of that shenanigans. I want to take children's music and I want to make it so the kids are going to love it and the parents are going to love it even more. But then I wanted to do it in the London style, like give it an edge. Shout, shout out and let the words on your mouth. Content comes pretty easy to me. I mean, I just have to look around in my house and my kids jumping around throwing frisbees at me and I'm getting hit with like rockets and I fall on skateboards. The creativity and inspiration is everywhere in my house. What happens is when I come up with a melody, something, I just start to sing anything that comes to mind. I don't care what it is, the doorknob, anything, the chair, it doesn't matter. So for days I may be singing this melody over and over again to words that are just nonsense, that mean absolutely nothing. My kids will walk by and say, Dad, quiet, or that stinks, you know, <laughs> you, know they, you know, do something different. But the fact of the matter is, is I'm trying to find the, the words that go with the song. And once I have the idea, and once it's kind of speaking to me through the melody and chords, Songs take like five minutes, and it's just, I'm off and running. Once I get it going, I can't stop. I, I don't care if it's dinner time. I don't care if it's time to watch SpongeBob SquarePants. I don't care what it is. The song has to be finished. I need to finish it right now. I'm not competing with Weezer or all these incredible bands anymore. I could write a song like Weezer. I could write a song like Bob Marley. The beauty with children's music is I can do whatever I want. I want to try all styles of music, and it's kind of unable to do that in rock and roll. You are caught in a box in rock and roll. Love it, but you're caught in a box. And I found a way for me, you know, to take, to take music and sort of break that box, but still make it rock, New London style.